this course consists of 13 modules and first we shall start with the introduction to python programming language then we shall learn how to install python on your machines and get started with python programming then we shall start understanding the fundamentals of python by understanding how to define the variables and the expressions that are supported by the python language then we shall learn how to write the conditional statements and we shall learn how to work with the loops and how to perform iterations in python language then we shall learn how to work with the functions we shall learn how to define the classes and objects in python then we shall learn how to handle the exceptions in python language we shall learn how to handle and manipulate the strings using python we shall learn how to handle the files we shall learn various data structures such as list dictionaries tuples sets etc and also we shall learn how to use the comprehensions support provided by the python language for writing maintainable and efficient code so this course is quite a large course so don't be in a hurry to finish the entire course in a week or so instead my advice will be you just take 20 or 30 minutes of your time every day and stick to whatever the time you can spend every day and learn the course day by day and practice every day what you have learned one important point i would like to inform you about this course since i wanted to make sure everyone to learn understand and enjoy python programming till the first six modules i have covered the topics in a slow fashion so some people may feel to watch the course in 1.25 speed also coming to the programs i have used simpler programs for better understanding till the sixth module according to me if you have completed up to sixth module then you are good to go for understanding advanced language features of python so from seventh module onwards everyone can watch at the normal speed and i will be increasing the complexity of the programs and i will be explaining in detail about each and every point you need to remember while using the concept i will be explaining in detail for a specific requirement which feature needs to be used how the feature needs to be selected and how to use that feature also and by the time we proceed towards the end of the course we shall discuss some real time scenarios and we will be developing real world applications by the time you complete your course you will be having a solid idea on python programming for sure by learning if you get any doubts or queries feel free to reach me out so that i can help you out i want to mention that this training is for everybody interested in programming see you in the class